the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum opened 40 years ago on July 1, 1976. Leading up to the anniversary, American History TV's Real America is showing a series of NASA films. Up next, from 1979, Planet Mars. The film includes an overview of NASA's Mariner flybys of the Red Planet between 1964 and 1971, and the Viking mission that landed two craft on the surface in 1976. Fantastic. 16 kilobits confirmed. Yes, we have a touchdown time of 12 hours, 12 minutes, 07 decimal one second. A job very well done. Outstanding, great, navigation, perfect. I'm assuming that we must be sitting right on the X. So that's the smooth area. So everybody just did fabulous and couldn't be more pleased. Thank you. 25 seconds after landing, one of the two cameras was initiated and scanned the first picture of the Martian surface. About a half an hour later, when it started to come back from the orbiter, and we got the first seven lines on the TV monitors, you could see gray and white light levels, and we knew there was something there. Oh, look at the beautiful rock. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> And all of a sudden, we were looking at the surface of Mars, and it was clear, it wasn't dusty, it was sharp. And when we got to the end of that first picture, with the dust and small pebbles in the foot pad, it was just, um, it was really a miracle. In an instant, the picture was wiped off the TV monitors and behind it came the filling in of the second picture, a long panoramic view that covers 300 degrees and extends from the lander to the horizon. It disclosed a sector of the basin called Chrysi Planitia, covered with sand or dust and littered with rocks. The following day, Viking sent back the first color picture. A fine dust, red or yellow-brown, covers the ground. The sky is a light tint of the same color due to the particles of dust suspended in the air. The question of life on Mars is only one of the inexhaustible number of questions for which we continue to seek answers in space. Questions about the origin and evolution of the solar system, of our own planet, and our own species. The search for answers is a goal of planetary exploration. And the journeys of our spacecraft to the near and far reaches of the solar system are beginning to provide some of the answers.